Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take an in-depth look at the Logitech G502X Plus Wireless Gaming Mouse User Guide. In the box, Logitech G502 Lightspeed Wireless Gaming Mouse, Lightspeed Wireless Receiver, Receiver Extension Adapter, Charging Data Cable, User Documentation, Mouse Features, Left Click, Button G1, 2 Right Click, Button G2, 3 DPI Up, button G8, 4 scroll up, 5 scroll left, will tilt left, 6 scroll right, will tilt right, 7 middle click, button G3, 8 scroll down, 9 DPI shift, button G6, 10 will mode toggle button, not programmable, 11 DPI down, button G7, 12 profile cycling, button G9, 13 forward, button G5, 14 back, button G4. 15 on-off switch, bottom of the mouse, not programmable. 16 power play aperture door wireless receiver storage. Setup instructions. Orientate the DPI shift to fit your preference or replace it with the button cover to extend the grip surface. The receiver can be stored in the mouse behind the door when on the go. The Lightspeed wireless USB a receiver is located under the mouse in the product tray. Connect the USB A cable connector to your PC and the USB-C connector to the receiver extension adapter. For better connection and easy access for charging, use the cable and extension adapter. Slide the power button up to turn on your mouse. Download Logitech G-Hub Gaming software to personalize your G502X mouse. Fine-tune to suit your playstyle, personality and each of your games, assign commands to any of the 13 controls, and more. To charge your mouse, plug the cable into the USB-C port at the front. It operates in data over cable mode when connected to a PC and takes around 2 hours to charge from 0% to 100% when plugged into a USB port. Compatible with the PowerPlay wireless charging system. Keep the mouse and receiver 2 meters away from wireless routers or other 2.4 GHz devices. The G502X Plus and G502X Lightspeed have a wireless range of up to 10 meters. To ensure optimal performance, keep the receiver within 20 centimeters of the mouse in noisy wireless environments. Onboard profiles by default. G502 Lightspeed uses colored lights to communicate DPI and profile changes pressing the DPI shift button shows the color for the new DPI speed, while releasing it shows the previous DPI color steady lights indicate DPI changes, while blinking lights mean the profile has been switched. Battery Life <music> Troubleshootings Connection issues, verify the receiver connection and try a different USB port. Freezing lag, adjust the report rate in Logitech G-Hub. Buttons not working, clean buttons, test without G-Hub running, and update reinstall G-Hub software. Double clicking, consider cleaning or replacing the switches. Lights not working, ensure G-Hub is running, check lighting settings in G-Hub, and restart your computer. General performance issues, update G-Hub, restart your computer, and try a different USB port receiver. Further assistance, refer to the Logitech support page search the Logitech subreddit, or contact Logitech support. Warnings. Connection. Avoid using hubs or extenders for the receiver, 
They can cause connection issues. Lag, lowering the report rate in G-Hub can help, but it might decrease responsiveness. Buttons, repeated cleaning with compressed air or rubbing alcohol can damage the buttons. Double clicking, opening the mouse to replace switches voids the warranty and requires technical expertise. Lighting, conflicting software can disrupt lighting effects try quitting unnecessary programs. General performance, outdated firmware or software can cause glitches update G-Hub regularly. Warranty, contacting Logitech support might require proof of purchase for warranty claims. For more updates subscribe to our channel.